Hello everyone, this is a quick video to show how to install NTA on a laptop or on a VM. So first thing you have to go to https slash slash red.ht slash MTA, which is Migration Docker for Applications web page, and you can go to the download page and download the latest version. In this case, I'm using 5.1.0, and once you have the zip version, by the way, I'm, I'm downloading the web distribution. You can unzip it, and then you will have a folder with all the content that is going to be able to make you be able to launch MTA. So, what do you need to be able to launch MTA? What does it where does it run? So you can run it on Windows, and for that you have to run MTA.bat, and then you can run it on Mac OS or Linux, and you have run MTA.sh. And to run it, you only need a JDK um, version 108 or 11 by OpenJDK or by Oracle, which are the ones that we test. And then once there, you just run the script, run MTA, and it will launch. If you run it just like that, uh, there will be no authentication. It will lock you in directly, and you will access the interface. How do you access the interface? Well, you go quickly to localhost 8080, and then it will take you to the interface once it's running. Once here, you just first create a project, like migration project, and then you just could point it to a path where you have the source code for an application or simply up upload a, a binary. Let, let's upload this binary and go to code, migration, sample apps, and I get that binary. So let's just get this binary, click next, and choose the targets. So in this case, I want to move these to an EAP7, JBoss EAP7, and then continuation to run it on OpenShift on Linux with OpenJDK. Let's say that we are coming from WebLogic on Windows using Oracle JDK and we would like to move it to this target. So I select the four targets, click Next. It will analyze the packages in the application. The packages that are not common, you know, that are like the application itself is not like part of WebLogic or the typical packages are automatically selected, click Next. If you can add custom rules or custom labels and um, choose uh, the, your custom options, but if you don't have any, just click next and then save and run, and you're done, and the analysis will take place. So you're good to go.